for Philly, man. I don't. He don't know nothing about no Cali. Nacho TV, man. Tune in. Exclusives. We about war. We about war. Don't make my hitters come to your front door. We about war. We about war. Don't make my hitters come to your front door. Live a life in the war zone. You see it then. War report. Campanori. It's a CNN. Can't see it and body cold and repeat again. Another brother lost, never mother gon' grieve again. Alright, man, we in LA with the heavy hitters, man, themselves, man. It's a lot, man. Captain Gadol, huh? Himself in the flesh. You know what I'm saying? In cyberspace, we got a little hob over here. And my man, we just met today. But introduce yourself, man. all right, man. So first question is, since I got all three of y'all here in the same spot, first question is for you, Cat. Yeah. Like, so like, yeah. how'd you, how'd you, how'd you come into the truth? Like, what was that one day where you decided, you know what, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start changing my life and I'm gonna start rocking with these brothers. <clears throat> the one day? Yeah. Like, what was that? What was that deciding factor? Mm -hmm. Okay, like for me, man, like straight up, it was uh, it was like the brother, man, uh, Captain Martizai. That's my brother, man. Like from 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 in the world, you feel me? Right. So, you know, he was in the he was in the school already. Mm -hmm. He had became a um, he became a trooper. Mm -hmm. I remember he we would talk all the like you know, when he became a trooper, we would talk, and I was in the world and I was doing you know things in the world. And he was telling me the things I was doing in the world was, you know, was the wrong thing to do. Right. So I was like, man, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? And everything he was telling me that was going to happen to me happened to me. Mm. So when he kept he kept striving in the school, he ended up becoming an officer. And I remember he became an officer at the Passover. And I'm in, I'm out here, mm -hmm. and he in New York. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, this brother, he making moves. Like, he doing stuff. Like, he going for something. And... I seen him change as a person. So so to see a person you personally know do the things that he was doing and then he inspired me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He inspired right. me. So I'm like, damn, what he into, man? Like well, I need to really start doing what he uh saying, doing the things he's telling me to do. I need to take it serious. Mm. So I was like, man, what, okay. So break it down for me, you know. <laughs> and I ain't say that, but in, in yeah, my worldly terms, you, yeah, in my worldly, exactly. I'm like, well, what you into? Yeah. So he said, like, man, I can show you, but I can tell you. Mm. He sent me, he shot me the link, boom, shot me the link of uh, Command Jr. Right? Mm -hmm. Command Jr. Shout, shout out to Command Jr. Big shout out to Command Jr. Big, big shout out to Command Jr. He showed mm -hmm. me the link of uh, Command Jr. Hanna doing the uh, street speaker. Mm -hmm. And I, I watched the link. Everything Commander Yohanna was saying was straight out the Bible. Right. And it just did something to me. You know what I'm saying? It just showed me, damn, like, you know, this is a real thing. Like, what he's saying is nothing I never heard. It was authentic. It was real. It was in the streets. Right. You know what I'm saying? And no one can, no one can come up against him. He was just a winner. Right. And he was a winning in that Bible. And that video, because I'm an out of town brother at that. Right. I'm from California. We, you know, ain't no camps out here or whatever. No UPK camps out here. So I'm like. <laughs> what, what hood you from? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you know the backstory of what he just asked, that's hilarious. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> you know, of course, I seen the link and it was like, you know. Oh, what up? San Diego. You know, shout out San Diego. Shout out Diego. I, but I, I reside in Riverside in the schools in San Bernardino, California. Riverside. Shout yeah. out Tupac. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so I seen the link and I was like, man, what he's saying is real, a real thing. So I checked out the link. 
And um, it was just, you know, it just changed my life from everything he was saying right. was straight out the Bible. Right. You know what I mean? And I was like, wow, that's amazing. And, you know, I'm not saying I turned my life that day, mm -hmm. but that was the start of my change to become who I am because what I seen was the thing I needed to see. So you that was the saying? beginning. That was the beginning. The to the end. Oh, for sure. For sure. So when I seen it, it was like, okay, yeah, that's... This is I told uh Captain Ryan Zion too. I told him I said, man, this is what I gotta do. This is this is what I have to do. Now I ain't I'm not gonna might not do it right now, because I remember I tried to, you know, I was fighting through the, you know, yeah. all the all the fleshly things, whatever. Right. But when it happened, you know, I'm here now. You know, I'm look, I'm standing before you, uh Captain of Thirteen Thousand and I S U P K. Right. You know what I'm saying? But at the time it was a it's a rough battle. But Commander Han is the man that inspired me to go through there. You know what I mean? Go through it. Go do it. You know what I mean? Right. So, um, so okay. At what point in time, like I know, cause like most brothers, like you just said it yourself. At what point in time was you was like, you know what? It's it's this blood or this Bible. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Or it's whatever your vice was. You know what I'm saying? You had to make that decision. At yeah. what point in time did you, you know what I mean, decide to to pick up the Bible? You know what I'm saying and leave the streets behind or whatever you was into. Yeah, um, you know, like I'm. That's a great question. You know what I'm saying? It's a, uh, it's a decision that you definitely have to make in your growth. Right. You feel me? Like it's a real decision. Like you can either say to yourself, because I I didn't dabble in between both. Right. I've been trying to come to class and you know get high and do all that. But it wasn't working. It wasn't something that was good for me. I was going to class like, man, that was heavy. You know, getting high like, man, that was crazy. Like, right. Trying to, you know, do still through, still, basically, juggle both. You know, kind of sitting your way back into the world, but that wasn't working. Right. Shit, excuse me. That wasn't working. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. because you so scared of the truth that. You know what I'm saying? You want to just be normal again. Right. But once the truth hits you in your mouth, in your ears, in your face, it's over for you. You, right. you know what I'm saying? Like, it's over for you. You just got to go serve God at that point. And right. that was the calling I had was, do I want to be fake with this with my life or do I want to go all the way in? So the decision I made uh, that day was, let me go into this full throttle and mm -hmm. see what the Lord do with me. You get what I'm saying? Let me see what the Lord do with me. Mm -hmm. And that's the day I decided not to get high anymore. Not to do, you know, all the things that I did in the world. You know what I mean? Not not to do any of those things no more and to fully trust in the Lord and trust in the school. And it, it helped me tremendously. Tremendously. Now, question. You out here in Cali, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, you know what I'm saying, when you heard about the truth, it was... It was stationed in what you, what you would call what we would call the East Coast, right? Yeah, for sure. Majority. So, so how how did you how did you like make it something that you would call? How did you stand up in it, and how did you bring it to the West Coast? What was your what was something you did to bring it to the West Coast and and and, and make it make it here? Like we in the school in the West Coast. Yeah. What were some of the beginning steps that you did? You know what I'm saying to to build this school or to build this. Mm -hmm. This West Coast brand that the ISU PK. Man, that's another excellent question, man. It was a man leadership and guidance. Right. You know what I'm saying? From those brothers, man. Like um, you know, I would I would say, man, the first call I made was, you know, General Hazan Young. You know big shout out to General Hazan. Big Haas. shout out to General Hazan Young, you know what I'm saying? He probably won't grab me up for this video. <laughs> <laughs> for any brother who knows General Hazan, if you don't, it's, you know he's you know, he's a father figure for a young brother coming in. He's right. you know definitely someone who's going to get you right. Right. You know he's going to cut out all the world, all the all the little worldly things that you have in you. He's going to just get rid of that. You know what I'm saying? So big shout out to General Hazan Young. He hooked me up with um you know Cap Top War. Straight shout up. out to Cap Top War. Shout out to Cap Top War. Cap Top War used to you know. At the time when I was coming to the truth, it, we didn't have an online class. I could be wrong, but I, I remember not having an online class like we have today. We had the call-in correspondence. Yeah. <laughs> it the was call a call-in, you know, or just, you know, me and Captain Tarot would have a class over the phone. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And he would just get with me every Wednesday. I remember it was once a week, every Wednesday. He always said, call me whenever you want to. 
this is when we gonna have our class. And mm -hmm. I would call Captain Tyler Ward. He would give me right. You know what I'm saying? General, I would call General Hodge. He would give me right. He would help me out whatever I was going through at the time. And then you know we led up to you know having classes, having online classes. But I would say the big step would be you know every brother over me that built a city already right. or built men and helped me over the phone. Right. You know what I'm saying? Over the phone. Big big shout out to Captain Tazaria. Big shout out to Captain Tazaria. Who was instrumental in my I used to check with him every Saturday. Mm -hmm. That was that's why I had to check in with, you know what I mean? After I would stop checking with General Hall and I had to start checking in with uh Captain Azaria. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? As a trooper. As a trooper. And then um, I became an officer. Big shout out to Captain Shot. Straight Captain up. Captain Shot. Because I started having to do in home videos. Right. <laughs> Captain Shot is the head of the YouTube department and he would get me right as well, you know what I'm saying? Right. Checking me, Captain Zari would check me on whatever I had to do and get better. And every every checking I got made me better. Right. Would made me, and I, I would skip my check-ins, and I wouldn't, if I, I would try not to make the same mistake, but I would only try to just get better from that point on. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So that's what helped me. It was like, damn, that was a rough check-in. I don't want that to happen again. Let me do the right thing. Right. You get what I'm saying? So I would, you know, I would try to learn from every mistake that I made and just improve myself, keep improving myself, keep improving myself. You know what I'm saying? And um, and that's what helped me. And then, you know, I pray, you know, I had a brother out here, you know what I mean? Lord be with him. He's not with me no more, but we was together. We was rocking and rolling and doing these classes and doing everything we was told. And I pray for brothers. I pray for more brothers to come in here, man. It's like, you got to do the work and you got to pray. Right. You know what I'm saying? If right. you really truly believe what, what we do, you got to really, you know, you know, put your faith into this. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's right. a real thing. Like, faith is the work that you do for the most high, for right. the Lord. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And every brother that's in front of me done did that. So, I done pray for brothers and brothers start coming. Boom. Brothers start coming. More brothers start coming. More brothers start coming. And, you know, brick by brick, that's how we built the California school. You know what I'm saying? We done been through... Through, I think three cities to actually find our find to, to finally find our actual camp spot mm. today, which is a beautiful mm. camp spot. Yeah, shout you know out, what I'm saying? Shout out your camp spot on Hollywood. Yeah, Boulevard. yeah, like you know on what I'm saying? Stars, like, like blazing on the stars, literally. Yeah, most high Christ. So like we had to go through it. You know what I mean? It's just like any school that's in the UPK today, they had to go through adversity. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But the thing about being in the truth is adversity and fire makes you harder mm. you know what i'm saying it makes you stronger it makes you better all those things everything that's in front of you that you persevere through makes you strong and better man for right. real so if cats would do it if you just persevere through your problems you'll find that you know it's it's grass on that other side that's real green right. you know what i'm saying you'll find brothers who are just like you if not better right you get what i'm saying fine brothers who are absolutely amazing and want to serve God like you do and want the kingdom of heaven just like you do. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? So, all those things helped me build this school. Mm. You know what I mean? And this school, you know what I'm saying, wouldn't be possible without the, the leader uh, of this nation, Command Jayana. Right. You know what I'm saying? Wouldn't be. You know what I'm saying? And he would he would give it to the Lord. You know what I'm saying? And it is the Lord. Everything is the Lord. But that brother right there, that's, a, that's an amazing brother. He don't get enough credit. He don't. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. He don't, don't even let you give him credit. Nah, he don't. He don't really like it too much. He you know what I'm saying? He but don't. we gonna give him credit. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and and what was I say this too? It's he's not a he's not a brother that will idolize because we don't idolize men. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But he is a brother who deserves the respect. That's right. You know what I'm saying? He deserves that for damn sure. Right. You get what I'm saying? So. It wouldn't be this wouldn't be possible. You gotta you gotta spend against the school. You know what I'm saying? Look at the look at that sign right there, man. That's in San Bernardino, California. Cats don't even know about San Bernardino. They don't know about this. You know what I mean? They know about LA, but we in San Bernardino. LA Empire, IE. Yeah, we got listen, we got a lot of brothers in San Bernardino County. Right. You know, Pasadena County. Like right. you know, we coming for LA, don't get it twisted. Right. All right. So if I could, um this is La Hob right here, right? With uh, now Laha, we had a we had a we had an interview with your pop. You know what I'm saying? Um, with Kazak Yai, right? And yeah. Kazak Yai said he remember when y'all two would be sitting home doing God knows what. You know what I'm saying? And you started looking at the videos, 
and you seen that um you know what i mean it was out california and so you got on the train or the bus or whatever mode of transportation you got and came out to class that was taking place in california you remember that con 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 uh can you speak on that all right i'll tell you this like Kazakyad, he's the one that found the school first. Mm-hmm. He found the Big whole... Big shout out to Kazakyad, too. Kazakyad, well, what Kazakyad found was... What Kazakyad found was the Israelites. Mm-hmm. He found it first. We started off, you know, just like every other brother in the world, getting high, watching videos on YouTube. And we just, just so happened to run into Israelites. Right. Right. We ran into almost every fake Israelite group. And then finally ran into the UPK. Right. Right? Ran into the UPK. And at first, Kazakia was with it. I was against it. Mm. Right? Why is that? Then, why was that? Because I guess I just was not used to the whole thing of, you know, brothers going hard on, you know, other nations and everything like that. It was something new to me. Right, right, right. But... You know, eventually, I you know I just kept watching the videos, watching the videos, got into it, and then eventually got in contact with the school, right? Got in contact with um, I believe it's Camp Soccer War. Shout out to Camp Soccer Jeezy. Camp Soccer War and Camp Mal Quad on Facebook. Shout out to Camp Mal Quad too. Right, got in contact with them. They told me about the school in Cali, and then I got in contact with Captain Godohar. You know, we did uh, I did we did um classes on on the phone for a little bit, mm-hmm. and then eventually Kevin Godard told me to come to the class, to the physical class in San Bernardino, mm. in the Fontana in, in the library. So that's when I took that bus to on um, Fontana. Mm. Right. Wait, hold on. Can I say something about that library real quick? Yeah, yeah. I, was going, I forgot like about the like, library. Like, <laughs> like, nah, no, no, no. You know how you speak on hey, it. Nah, because I forget about the stepping stone we had to take to get to actually, like, we in a building right now. Right. Like, we in the UPK building. Right. You get what I'm saying? I'm, I'm going to give you right back to Lahab, but Lahab brought up a good point. We started, like, in a library. Mm-hmm. First, hold on. First of all, we started... I started doing over the phone classes with brothers in my zone who wasn't close. And then, you know, I found brothers in my zone. And then we was, I was in the library. And then we was in the library. We went from the library. We ended up having a barracks. Mm-hmm. We having to have from a barracks, you know what I'm saying, to in this building now. So like those are the things, those are another stepping tool, stepping stools that we had to go through. It was that library, yeah. the barracks. And now the building we in now, man. That, Shout out to every city that came through a library. Hey. <laughs> every, hey, every, every city every, that came up in every the library. Every school in the nation of Israel in the UPK came through a library. That's, That's a how it starts. That's a so fact. Like, go ahead, Lon. So, so, yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, you know I'm going to ask you about the same story. I'm going to ask you about it, too. We're going to yeah, come back now, to you. Yeah, do you think? Yeah. So, Captain Dohar tells me to come to the school in Fontana, come to the library, Slaggy, come to the library, right? This is my first time coming to this side of the city. Right. right? Oh, you from you from Pasadena? I'm from Pasadena, coming to San Bernardino. I've never been to San Bernardino before. I hop on the bus. LA is huge. Um, this right. Southern California is huge. Right, not know about it, it's huge. So, I get on this bus, not knowing where I'm going, Right. not Ooh. knowing who I'm meeting, Right. If my I only talked to the brothers on the phone, I only talked to Captain Godohar, Captain Cuomo, who was picking me up. Shout out Cap Quam. Right. So I'm on this bus. You know, I'm just like at, at this point I'm just like, fuck it. I'm rolling. You know what I'm saying? I already said I'm going. I'm on the bus already. You know what I mean? I got my little drink with me. Fuck it. You know what I mean? I'm on my way. Yeah, San Bernardino. You know what I mean? And then uh, some issues came up. Um I tell Captain Cuomo, you know what? I can't make it to San Bernardino. I'm going to Laverne. Captain Cuomo says, no sweat. I'm going to meet you in Laverne. And so I get off on Laverne. I meet him at a Jack in the Box. I'm, um, as soon as I get off the bus, I see a black car. I forgot what kind of car he had, but it's an all black car, black rims, black tinted windows, waiting for me right there at the Jack in the Box. I just knew, man, this is, this, <laughs> this is him right here. This right. is the brother that said that he's going to pick me up. <laughs> right. I'm walking up. I'm walking up to the car, I see the brother with the black headband, Judite. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, okay, this this is this is him right here. You know what I mean? 
I walk up to the window. As soon as I walk up to the window, hey, Shalom, my Yerushua All right, this is him right here. Right, right, this right. This is the brother that said he's gonna pick me up. I salute him back. Hey, sh- hey, Shalom, sir. Yahweh, my Yerushua That's the first time I met Captain Cuomo. Mm. First time I met Captain Cuomo. We gotta get Cap Cuomo in this joint. Hey, Make big sure up to Captain Cuomo uh, on some real stuff. Captain Cuomo is the pillar in the school. You know what I mean? Right, and right, Cali. Right. right. He picked me up. Took me to San Bernardino. Right. You know what I mean? I'm chopping it up with San Bernardino. I'm still kind of nervous. You know, I never, you know what I mean? I, I, I didn't know, I didn't know Captain Cuomo. You know I'm still kind of nervous. You know what I mean? So, we, we chopping it up. He's taking us to the, um, to the, to the class. You know what I mean? Walking to the library. That's my first time meeting Captain Godor. Mm. Meet Captain Godor. Captain Godor give me a, a hug and everything like that. Hey, you know what I mean? Shalom, you know what I mean? The whole time, I've only been talking to Captain Godor on the phone for like three months. And it's my first time meeting him, so, mm. you know what I mean? It was something new to me. Okay, it was my man. first time coming to class, you know what I mean? Oh, it's like, no, you oh, got it. Yeah, yeah. My first time meeting Captain Godor, meeting Captain Cuomo, officer at the Walker Bar. And um, yeah, that's that's who I met on my first day coming to class in the Fontana Library. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna remember that day, don't you? Um, Man, I met a lot of brothers like that, but yeah, I remember Lahab for sure. Yeah. yeah Lahab, man, like Lahab. How big is you, Lahab? Um, my, my rank is 5,000. Yeah, my I mean, rank. no, I'm talking about size. He was way smaller than this, too. Oh, big. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> he was a I'm baby. So small, hey, he, nah, he was a baby. Now, he, he a grown man now. He was a baby, man, straight up. Mm. A straight baby when I seen him, man. Like, but, you know, Lahab, he's a, if you, anybody know Lahab, he's, you know, he's a, Probably one of the hardest, hardest working brothers in the school, straight up, in the nation. Right. So you know, like from from what I seen, how he was to he is now, just something to be proud of. You know what I'm saying? So right. It's just amazing to see the brother how he is now, for sure. No, if I could, cat. Yeah. Now, can I ask you, like, all right? So what was life like in the world for Cap Godalhar? And like, what did what did you come from? Like, what was the humble beginnings mm-hmm. that gave you? That gave you the outlook on life that you have today. Well, I mean, you know, to keep it to keep it short, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. To keep it succinct about um, how I grew up in the world is like, you know, just any other brother. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, I'm gonna keep it everything. I'm gonna try to keep everything short. I don't want to be long winded about nothing. Um, of course, I grew up with my mother. You know, what I mean, I didn't really know my father like that. Mm-hmm. My father passed away. When I was, uh, I think, 15 or 15, 16 years old or something like that. Mm. I grew with a stepfather. A stepfather, you know, was he raised me. I think right after my father died, my father died, um, um, my stepfather went to prison. Mm-hmm. Like, literally, like, six months later. You know what I'm saying? And before that, I, I, like, honestly, I ain't going to say, like, I lived a hard life. You know what I'm saying? My life wasn't... I had meals, you know what I'm saying. I had I had my meals, and my mother was a had a, a good job. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like she did. I, I didn't want for nothing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't right. like my life wasn't. Excuse me. I find it, like from knowing brothers I know in their lives, their lives are hard. I'd right. be amazed at the brothers I around me who came from a, a certain life. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, right. damn, my old, I had a great, you right. know what I'm saying? Like, right. of course you go through your little things, but man. So my mother, you know, she had a good job. I had, you know, I had everything I, I wanted in life. You feel me? It was, it was, you know, I didn't grow in a strife life. But at the same time, I went through the same things that happens when you're a cursed people. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right, so, right, right, right. So I went through that, not having a father. I had my stepfather, which was a father figure, but he, you know, of course he sold drugs, he went to prison, and it was me and my mother, you know what I'm saying? So when I was 16, and that's when I started, you know, I guess acting out, mm-hmm. being, you know, being the cat that, you know, every every movie you see, you want to be that cat. You want to be, you know what I'm saying? You want to you wanna get your stripes up. You want to have your street cred or whatever the hell it is yeah. which which you know everybody in this room know what i'm talking about if i could we got an interview with general Mahaiman when he said he was um he wanted to be a part of an army or a group of men yeah right mm-hmm. and this army or this men he found out didn't have the loyalty that he thought you know what i'm saying or, or have the hey look salaki i'm glad you said you're gonna finish that yeah and it's like 
And and them cats that I grew up with and who I was with, listen, hey, cool cat. It, it was solid. Right. It was solid. But when you find out like what you just said that you the nuttiest of them all, right? Or like you'll go all the way, right? Or that you really down nutty nutty is a california slang right nutty is like you just you know you you you're you're the you're the you're the wild one okay because nutty and philly mean the, the opposite okay my bad in cali <laughs> <laughs> hold on in cali a nutty right a nutty one is like you don't you don't you, you the nigga that niggas don't want you know fuck with right can i say that on knock tv my yeah, bad you say on TV. yeah yeah all right so you the niggas that uh niggas don't want to see right they rather see them but when they see you, they're like, okay, niggas tripping now. You feel me? Right. So, so like I kind of find that out, and then and then uh, if I can add to it, the the nuttiest nigga that was really my road dog had moved to Atlanta. Shout out Cameron by Design. So mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So right. like I was with my other niggas who is with it, but you know, I, I, in my opinion, you know, it's you know what I'm saying. They wasn't like Rotazaya, and Rotazaya was gone. Right. He was in Atlanta. He was doing his thing. He was, you know, changing his life, and he in turn changed my life. Right. So when I found out, that, I was like, okay. So, but I mean, things in the world I did is just think about everything a brother would do to get his stripes up in the streets. Right. It's like, all right. So we you got know what I'm saying? right. So we got the brother right here, man. Young always in the truth, but definitely super solid brother. You know what I mean? If I could ask you the question, you know what I'm saying, introduce yourself and tell the people how you came up or how you how you learned the truth. Come on, come on. I'm a uh, Commodore Officer 50. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Under uh, Commander General Hanna mm -hmm. and the IZPK. The way that I came into the truth was, uh, you know what I'm saying? I was under every denomination and like uh, religion because I was following uh, bitches, so like it. You know, I, I was following the women. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Wait, you know you, what I mean? What you mean by that? So, you know what I'm saying? I, I was dating a girl. She was just a whole witness. Mm -hmm. And then I joined your whole witness. And then, you I know got what I'm saying? You. Yeah, so like, and then, you, you know what I mean? Another woman, she, she, I, I, I was dating. She, she was a Christian. I joined Christianity. All right, but so then, you, the, you the ladies, man. Uh, I used to be so like yeah, right, you know I got but then you. I have I got brothers so like but but uh so like but then I have then I have brothers or uh I had you know what I mean uh uh brothers in the world they used to be like hey hold on man you know what that Bible is changed so they would be like man you know what I'm saying let's have a Bible study whatever mm -hmm. and then uh they'll they'll show me and I'm like whatever but then in the in the end j j just to, uh you know cut it short in the end my question was if, if you're real, you're going to show me who you are. And then uh, uh, I had one question. My question was, where did the cradle of civilization start? Mm. You know what I'm saying? And right. I learned it was Sumeria, Mesopotamia. Right. And then I joined, I started learning about Egyptology. Mm -hmm. And then like six months, I, I was I, I was following it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then I came across a channel, Sanetta. And then uh, I came across Kemta uh debate with... Uh, uh, polite, yeah. You know what I'm saying, and then I was kind of uh, I, I didn't want to watch it. You know what I'm saying, but then right. finally I was like, man, this kid's coming up on my on my feed. Mm -hmm. So I watched it, and I, I remember Captain Zazariak. I was even kind of, you know what I'm saying, he had the studs and everything, the handbands, mm -hmm. and I was like, man, you know what I'm saying, why is a brother, you know, dressed like that, this and that, you know what I'm saying, and then uh, um, one thing that caught my attention was he was like, you know what I'm saying, God's chosen people. And mm -hmm. I was like, damn, I want to be chosen. And then he 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 mentioned blacks, Latinos, and American. And I was like, damn, well, I'm Latino. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then after that, I started following it. You know what I'm saying? And then um, but uh j j j just to jump ahead, uh, in my slavery, I had a brother who's a fake Israelite. Mm -hmm. And and then uh, um before I joined the school, I used to put the fringes on my shirt, you know what I'm saying? And I and then I seen uh, General, uh, General Yohanna said, if you wear the fringes on your shirt, you're a freak Israelite. So I took them off. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to you. It's a lie. <laughs> 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 like, you know what I'm saying? Before I seen that video, this brother has seen me. And then he seen my he seen my beard. And he's like, man, that, that's a nice beard. But then he seen my Israelite. He's like, man, you an Israelite? So he ended up inviting me to the uh, Taste of Soul out here in California. Mm -hmm. And I remember uh, that, that, that uh, this was 2018. And I had seen Cap Godoho, uh, he, he had done a, um, 
uh, uh, interview. He was interviewing people, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, on there. And I was there mm-hmm. that day. But I, I didn't see uh, the IZPK, you know what I'm saying, on the event. But anyways, I ended up, uh, he ended up inviting me, that brother. He was from a fake Israelite group. Mm-hmm. And I seen the way they conducted themselves. You know what I'm saying? And everybody was uh, taking each other's mics to uh, answer the question. They didn't have no discipline. Mm. So my um, th- there was a brother that came up and he asked a question. His question was about the uh, the baptism. Mm. You know what I'm saying? About right. taking the baptism, this is and that. Right. And then they couldn't answer it. And then I, I already had seen the breakdown to the baptism. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, man, you know, these brothers are not conducting themselves. And I only seen one which is the IZPK, the way they conduct themselves, you know what I'm saying? And the way my, my pa's raised me, he raised me under like real hardcore discipline. Mm. And I was like, man, you know what I'm saying? The IZPK got that discipline, mm. you know what I'm saying? But uh, just to fast forward, you know what I'm saying? I called the school because I told myself, if, if I don't call IZPK at this moment, I'm gonna end up with these cats uh, who don't know the truth. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, that's not going to happen for me. Right. So I ended up calling the school. I remember uh, Cap uh, Cap answer, Cap Godoho answered. Mm-hmm. And then he was like, man, the buzz going to get in touch with you. Mm-hmm. I let like two days pass. Nobody hit me up. And I called again. And then uh, he was like, man, you know, uh, this buzz going to call you. Mm-hmm. And then uh, uh, I ended up getting in touch with Officer Lahab. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Officer 5000. And then, uh, you know what I'm saying? He told me, he was like, man, you know, we're going to have class uh, this day, which is Wednesday. I ended up coming to class. You know what I'm saying? And that, that's history. That was it. Um, man, that's heavy. That's heavy. Now we got this bread over here. This is, this is, man, this Officer Malagma, this brother, this brother is doing some amazing work over here. You know what I'm saying? That is incredible. Like we got to represent for the culture. Niggas coming out here with all this funny color hair, skinny jeans and shit. Fuck, fuck that, that shit nigga. Is We're taking it back gay. to the fringes. Motherfucking Spikes, nigga, representing for the Hebrews. It's you know what I'm saying? Angry black man media, it's nigga. We, we getting it there. We bringing that no, real I mean, shit black. I match right. my guns with the sneaks. That's my fashion week. Go ask the streets. Dog, we got massive beef. We pass elite. Play this on blast, repeat. Let it go worldwide. Let the masses peep. I don't care if she thick or her ass petite. She yeah. want war with the D, she a casualty. Long as she don't got no limits like I'm Master P. Uh, Fucking uh, bitches! Uh, oh, uh, dick uh, star! Uh, you know I'm squeezing on trigger, my bullets hitting you, hitting you won't heal up with stitches. You don't want that, you don't wanna get your skull cracked. Better tighten up when a nigga tell you fall back. Titties on a drum, you a sucker, get you all that. When you stand tall at, that's where you gon' fall at. Ah.